Hey there, cheering your guitar guy, helping you find your sound. I want to show you a song called Statue of a Fool, and that's coming up. This song here is a great song that I used to listen to all the time back in the day on the radio. And I'm going to have a complete course over at yourguitarguide.com on this. Check it out there. I'll leave a link in the description. It'll have everything you need, all the chords and how to play them, and the chord progression. Because there's a lot of chords in it, but it's such a great song, I just had to show you. So let's get to it. The chords in the song are C... A B B flat A minor A minor, F, now I'm kind of going over these chords quick, but like I said, over at yourguitarguide.com, I'll have all the chords on a sheet for you, and the chord progression, so it'll make it easier. F, G, D, A, we've got a G sharp, and an A sharp, and that's all the chords, but then there's a lot of notes that connect the chords to it, so just bear with me. 
So in the beginning, it goes like this. You could either do this right here. So what we've got is a C, B, B flat. Or you could play it a power chord. Your first finger on the third fret of the fifth string and at the fifth fret on the D string will be your third finger. Keep that position on those two strings and just slide up a half step or half to the next fret. And then again to the first fret. So it's and then open A and D string. Then we're going to play a G sharp. And I just strum it down. A sharp. C. So we're playing the G on the sixth string. 3rd fret, strum, pick it again, open A string, 2 on the A string, and then go right into the C. C, down, down, up, up, down. Open A string, and you're going to move to that A minor. Then we're going to play an E minor by picking the uh, placing your hands for that E minor chord and picking the A string, and then playing the E minor. So let me show you what we've got so far. C, A minor, E minor, back to G, A minor, G, C, and then it starts that progression again. But when we're playing the chords, we're playing the bass note of each chord. So we're playing a C, pick the bass C, which is the A string. Open A string when we're playing the A minor. A string when we're playing the E minor. G. A minor again. G again, C, and we're going to play it again, A minor, E minor, and then after the G, we're going to pick the G, the sixth string. And then the G sharp. So moving up half a step to the fourth fret. G. And then A. Pick the A string. Strum the A chord. D. Take the D chord and strum. And then back to the C. A minor. E minor. 
A minor, G, C, A minor, F, G. Once you see the chord sheet that you'll get over at yourguitarguide.com, and it's basically broke down. You're playing the C, A minor, E minor, G two times through, and then you've got an A minor and G thrown in there, and then in between that, it goes C, A minor, F, and G, and then it goes back to the what we learned in the beginning, C, A minor, E minor, G, G, G sharp, A, D, and then it's C, which is the chorus, C, A minor, A minor, G, C, and then it's that walk up like we did in the very beginning. So it's So that walk up. You could play a power chord, like we did in the beginning. The last part is power chords. G sharp, C, A minor, F, G, A minor, G, C. And when you get to the that part, you're basically strumming for two beats. Like I said, the tab and the chord progression, and it'll be note for note. Check it out over at yourguitarguide.com. Thanks for watching, and watch that lesson next. Thanks.